Haha, -ha, there we go. Now you can hear me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> What's up, Satellite Sun? Our Dominic low dry. Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing quite good myself. Had a had a uh, nice, relaxing day of work, actually. I had a b whole bunch of stuff thrown at me, and that's fine, because I had a bunch of time to work on it. Um... Kids have been home. Kids are off of, uh, off of school for the rest of the year, so they've just been dinking around, watching TV. They've been... I think I mentioned to y'all that I introduced them to Gravity Falls a while back. Fury Fighter, dude, thank you so much for subscribe for 21 months! <laughs> 21 months in this game. Me? What's up, Big Copter? What's up, Hive Hum? Uh, they finished Gravity Falls. And in the wake of Gravity Falls, they've been watching Gravity Falls over and over and over and over again. So I'm very proud. Very happy. What's up, Silver Mike? If you could hear anything right now, finishing Root with Friends takes precedence. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. We'll be here. Don't worry. We're going to be here all night. Game volume is a bit high. That's funny because I turned it down from normal. How's... How's that? Is that better? This does have some very intense sound design, I've noticed. Like, right from the get-go. <clears throat> Is that better? Okay. The the sound alerts are going to be a bit muted tonight, so if, um... If, if you're of a mind to, like, blast me with Pokemon or Cotton Eye Joe or something, tonight might not be the night for it, then. Um... But anyway... Yeah, doing quite good. High tones were wicked high. What's up, two hit good? We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it somewhere. Hopefully, once we get into the game, it won't be too bad. So maybe we can adjust then further. So, um, I have been working hard. Oh yeah, I, I saw you broke your TV, dude. That sucks. Really sorry to hear that. Hopefully, it won't be too much to to set yourself up with a new one. Uh, I've been hard at work on my way through Titan Quest, I actually finished the normal difficulty at last, after like 30 hours. Um, so, 
just so you know, those are the reviews that you can look forward to. I've been very motivated this week. I, uh, I got a review out yesterday in lieu of week-long deals. What's up, Harvey Winkle? Um, I'm gonna have two more reviews out this week. They're both already written. I finished them both. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna have a review of Titan Quest uh, Ragnarok Up. And on Friday, I'll have a review of Titan Quest Atlantis. Because I have played through both of them, and I have lots of thoughts about both of them. Now, I'm just trying to get to the absolute end game, uh, so I can try out the new DLC, which is only available uh, at, like, the end of the highest difficulty or something, which is kind of weird. I've never heard of an ARPG doing that, so. Right now, I'm in the middle difficulty, and I hate the middle difficulty. I think I've mentioned this to y'all before, but, like, my big hang-up with old ARPGs like Diablo and Titan Quest and stuff is I hate the three difficulties. I hate that they expect you to play through the game three times to get the full experience. Um... And they keep doing this. Like, modern modern ARPGs are so are so in love with this idea. Even, even games like Grim Dawn do it. I know... Um... What is it? Path of Exile. I think got rid of the different difficulties, because they got enough content to actually flesh the whole thing out across one difficulty. I just can't get it. I can't get into that game. I cannot do it. Um, but yeah, I'm on the middle difficulty right now, and I'm just like blasting through as fast as I can. I hate the middle difficulty most of all, because like, you already finished one playthrough, and you know there's another one coming where like you're gonna be doing all the real work, so the middle playthrough, the middle difficulty always just feels like completely pointless. Thankfully got a new job recently and be able to afford it, it still sucks, had the TV for over 10 years. Ah, oh, that does suck. Well, I guess, I guess it's a good time as any to upgrade. Decide to unlock one last monster and to move to sequel once I beat the game. You have one in 60 chance to even get a shot at unlocking the last one. Do that, I have to kill off monsters? Ooh, that doesn't sound very fun. That sounds like an anti-fun mechanic. So. Um. Anyway. Tonight is, tonight is a bit of a momentous occasion. I have been promising for years that I would get to this game, and I obviously haven't yet, but tonight, tonight is the night. You know, I wanted to get out the manual for this. Yeah, literal years, that's not hyperbole. I wanted to get out the manual for it. I can't find it though. I, I went through my, my drawer of manuals and stuff, and I found a bunch of, I found a bunch of other stuff. I found some cool stuff that I had, uh, buried in there. I probably showed this off when we did the first game. Um, but I have... I have a little Final Fantasy Legend poster that has the world's maps on the back of it. But this is probably gonna go up on the wall. Not probably, it's definitely gonna go, gonna go up on the wall. Because when I go, you can see, when I go to Giant... No, 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 no. When I go to Giant Oddish, now you can see, like, the, the these uncovered edges here, and I need to fill those in. So, the more posters, the more game posters I find, the better. Um, this one I didn't even look at yet. Oh, it's another one of those. Up here, you can't really see it because it's off, it's off the edge, but it's a Chrono Trigger poster. And it turns out I have two, actually. I have another one. And on the back of this one is uh, the different world's mapses. You could just zoom in on yourself, high def high force. I I gesticulate too much for that. I need I need some space to feel like I can I can freely talk with my hands. Because otherwise otherwise I'm just gonna feel all like cr crammed in this little window up here. You know, it's already claustrophobic enough. Y'all that y'all that don't stream, you don't understand how this feels. It's being in this being in this little box here. And then of course the uh, <coughs> the actual pertinent one. The world map for Final Fantasy 3. That also has there's no way you can read this, but it also has an index of all the items and equipment and spells and stuff back in there, so. May come in handy, I don't know. Hello, Nemrin, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Let's fill the box with live scorpions. Why would you do that? This is no boo box. 
Tasty, tasty charts. Not special effects, I'll just really trapped in the corners. <laughs> Deaths. This is the sacrifice I make for you, Chad. Every night, when I push the start streaming button, my universe shrinks down to this little, to this little rectangular area, and I have to subsist like this for three to four hours. So, that's what I do for you, Chad. That is what I do for you. I hope you appreciate it. Oh, it's just Chat C Man. <laughs> we, we could fill the box with dead scorpions instead if you insist. Keep you watered. That's true, you will. You will. You've been pretty good about that. <laughs> should I? <laughs> no, I definitely, I definitely should not add a channel point thing for snacking. That, that would definitely end unwell. Mm. Yeah, eat a chip. I'd have to put a long ass cooldown on that. Could be worse if you had a green screen, you'd have even less. That's true. If I had a green screen, I'd be trapped in the video game all night. That could be scary. Cyborg midwives coming up behind me and stuff. Ugh. Wouldn't want any of that. <clears throat> anyway, gang. Uh, I guess we better get started on this. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Final Fantasy Legends series on Game Boy was actually how Square decided to market the Saga series in the West. They are not actual Final Fantasy games. Uh, <coughs> they are the weird games. You thought Final Fantasy games were weird. Oh. Oh, child. You've never, you've never had to cobble together a nuclear weapon to fire at Suzaku the Red Bird in the ruins of Tokyo in a Game Boy game. Kind of sequels to Final Fantasy 2. Final Fan Gnarl is a wiener, it's Final Fantasy Legend lore. That's true. That's true, it is. That is canon around these parts. But yeah, the, the, first, the first game... I understand this would be less weird, but it's the only saga I've never even touched, so we'll see. It may be. I know this one's more plot-driven. The first game... The first game had the tower and the four worlds, and you meet God at the end and you chainsaw him in half. Um, and then the second game had had the, the, the magi, the magic stones that combined to form a statue of a goddess that became an actual goddess who led you to the operating system at the center of reality um, to fight its security system. This one, I think, plays it a bit more, a bit more straight, although this one has time travel. I will tell you that straight up because they introduced it in like the first five minutes of the game. Hence the stream title. Magic scones? No, you don't eat them. You do equip them, though. They do do things when you equip them. I could also go for some magic scones. Anyway, I think it's about time that my controller died, so I can't actually play this game. Hang on. Don't, don't do this. Don't be like this. Hang on. It did say connected. Don't worry, we're, we're definitely, we're definitely doing this. I just need to get to behave. All right, all right. All right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Back of time, if any security breach room, not a fucking chance. Not even remotely. What the fuck? What the hell, man? All right, all right, all right. We're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna restart. The I'm gonna restart the pocket. I'm, re I'm gonna redo everything. I'm gonna restart everything. We're gonna shut shut off the controller. I will make this work. This will work. Yeah, it works in the system menu, but not the game. It is very strange. Decidedly strange. You win. Alright, there's content. 
as it's being formed. All right. All right. Controller connected. Good. 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 Progress. Play cartridge. There we go. Okay. Now we can play the video game. Finally. 15 minutes in. Now I remember Final Fantasy Legend 3 is keyboard and mouse. Alright, new game. No, new game. There we go. Alright, important plot! Very important plot. The Pure Land Water Entity appeared and flooded this world's present, past, and future. So there's a giant pot in the sky is dumping water on everything. The water brought monsters, I think he's speaking a bit, which hunted people day and night. Cities fell one by one, covered by the sea. Apparently it's very evil water. However, in a few, a few individuals prepare for a journey that may determine the fate of the world. Behold, the sealed city Darm. Here, three young people, sent back as children from the ruins of the future, are living with the Elder. He has reared them together with his own granddaughter. Alright. Is the game reminding you to hydrate without paying dragon coins? It is. It gets away with that. Alright. We have four characters to name. Uh, each of them, you get six characters. Uh, as you can see here with Arthur. I announced this in Discord, I announced this last night. We're gonna do something a little different this time. We are going to do a Dragon Coin auction. Instead of having you just blast requests or yell things out, nobody do anything yet. Nobody do anything yet. Nobody do anything yet. I'm gonna have y'all bid on how many Dragon Coins you're willing to spend to name one of these characters. Now here's the deal. Each person can only win one auction, okay? If you win an auction, you're out of the other ones. Um, bidding will continue until bidding stops, obviously. And then, at that point, I'm gonna make a custom channel point reward for the winner, and the winner only, to dump their coins into, and then they can tell me what they want the character's name to be. I don't want any memeing with this, okay? It's going its going to be hard enough to keep up with what's going on anyway. No joke bids. No fucking around with this. Max characters are six. <coughs> you can have up to six characters for the name. Um, also, also, I don't want anybody doing like massive dramatic jumps in bidding. Like, once I, op once I open bidding, I don't want people bidding like half a million dragon coins or something. That's gonna suck all the fun out of it, okay? So, we wanna, we wanna go, you know, like an actual auction, incrementally, okay? That'll save you dragon coins in the long run as well. Nut Slammer is seven. I know. Life is hard, isn't it? So those are the rules. If you break the rules, if you do, if you do meme bets, or bids. If you bid an amount that you can't actually, can't or won't actually pay, you're getting timed out for the auction, alright? Don't fuck around with this. That's... That's the deal. I need, I need chat on the page with me for this to actually work. So. If y'all are ready, if we are prepared for this... <laughs> 500 million drag quiz. Okay. So, I'm, I'm going to start the bidding on, uh, on Arthur. I'm going to start it in chat, all right? And once, once I start it, y'all bid up gradually until bidding ends, okay? No more, yes, yes, mods, keep an eye on people. Do you see somebody jump in there bidding like a million billion coins or 42,069 coins? Time their asses out, do it. If I bid and then turn on emote only chat as I break, yes, I will demod you. <laughs> Nobody is gonna screw with this. Not even my mods. Okay? Alright. Get ready. Alright, and... 
We begin. Bidding starts at 1,000. Do I have 1,000 coins? 1,001 to our dominant. 1,001, 1,001. Do we have 1,500? 2,000, 2,000 to Bacon Copter. We, current bid is 2,000, 2,000 Dragon Coins. Do I hear, do I hear 3,000? Is there 3,000 out there? 3,000 coins. 3,000 to R. Dominic. 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. 3,200 to Bake Toast. Good to see you, Toast. 4,200 to Bacon Copter. 4,200, 4,200. Do we have 5,000? Is there 5,000 out there? 4,500 to R. Dominic. 5,000 to Cragger. Good to see you, buddy. 5,000. Current bid is 5,000. 5,000 Dragon Coins. 5,500 to R. Dominic. 5,500, 50, 6,000, two hit good. 6,000 coins, we have 6,000 and 30. 6,900 coins to RV Winkle, not a meme bid, close enough. 7,000 to R Dominic. <laughs> Bit is 7,000. 7,000. Do we have 7,500? 75? 75? 75? 75? 75. <laughs> He's bidding up against himself. 7,700 for Cragger. 8,008 from Bacon Copter. What's the max you all for coins? This could go all night. That is true. This could go pretty high, all things considered. 8,017. 8280 from Baked Toast. 8280. 8280. <laughs> now y'all are just making it hard for me to call these out. 9009. Alright, we're over 9000. We're over 9000! <laughs> 10,000 Dragon Coins from Fragger99. Timeout Odyssey did a meme. We had 91k, I even jumped in yet. No meme bids. Shut up. 12,000. Our dominant. Current high bid is 12,000. It's actually over 8,000 the original. I didn't know that. Pay me to name your character. <laughs> Current high bid is 12,000. Do I have any other bids? 12,000. 12,050. Big toast. You're 3,500. Well, that means you've been making good use of them. 12,750 to our dominant. Such a weird mistranslation. Maybe they thought 9,000 rolled off the tongue better. 13,000 baked toast. 13,337 to Cragger. 15,000 RV Winkle. 15,000 current high bid. 15,250 to our Dominic. We have 15, 15,5. 15, 15,5. Do I see 15,5? Fifteen, no takers. 15,250. <laughs> 60,000, 20,000 from RV Winkle, 20,000. 20,000 coins, going up, oh, 22,000, big toast. You bidding off names or are you just naming here 20,000? No, Shadows, we are bidding uh, bidding on with dragon coins to see who's going to, who's going to name the character. The bid is the name. All right, we're up to 26,969. 26,969. Bacon Copter trying as hard as he can to piss me off, but it's close enough to the highest bid. I will accept it. 26,969 going once. 26,969 going twice. Last chit. 30,000 from RV Winkle. I recommend starting the bids for the next three names much higher. Well, we'll we'll see where this one ends up. Yeah, thirty thousand and one, thirty thousand and one current high bid. <clears throat> thirty thousand one going once. Thirty thousand and one going twice. Sold to Bacon Copter for 30,001 Dragon Coins. Congratulations. <clears throat> All right, let me make up a channel point thing for you. Ooh, Spring Break. <laughs> Was hoping to get over 40K. Uh, let's see, here's my thing. 
All right, only, this is only for Bacon Copter. Do not, do not try to redeem this. If you redeem this, there is no guarantee I'm going to refund your points. All right, Bacon Copter, there it is. <clears throat> Toss your coins in and tell me what name you want. <laughs> Alrighty. Jarbzy Shella's Legacy Reigns Supreme. Alright. Should probably start at like 10k and mandate 1k increments. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think that is a that is a good adjustment to make. All right, next up is the boy, Curtis. All right, bidding on Curtis shall start at 10,000. And yes, at least increment between 1,000 and 5,000 coins, somewhere in there. So we can, we can, uh, get where we're going a bit faster. All right, and Bacon Copter sits this one out. He got his character, so. All right, bidding starts at 10, 10,000. 10,000, do I hear 10,000? 12,000 from Cragger. 12,000 coins for the boy. 13,000, two hit good. 13,000, 14,000 from our Dominic. <laughs> I know, I put the K on there because I wasn't thinking. I was like, 10k? 100,000? How do you how do you do that? 20,000 from RV Winkle. 20,000, current high bid. 20,000, right? 22,000, baked toast. 6k, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna split hairs about it. Let's just not go completely insane. K is the currency, it's coins, like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> well, thank you for looking out for Sardonic. Okay, 22,000, going once. 22,000, going twice, last chance, 25,000 from Cragger, 25, 25,000, current high bid. This is what watching the riches like, yes. Dance, pub, dance, something 30,000 from RV Winkle, 30,000 for the boy, 30, 30, 30, do I hear, do I hear 31, do I hear 32? 30,000, going once, 30,000, going twice. Sold to RV Winkle for 30,000 coins. Congratulations. You can't take it with you, B. <laughs> Is everybody's limit just 30,000? I mean, that's what the first one ended up being. How many people are holding out for the last name and hope sold one percent of their coins the first thing? I was, you know, I was wondering about the strategy of this. What it would, what it would work out to. That is, that is definitely a consideration. Or are people gonna be like, damn, I missed out on the early names and there's gonna be like a crazy, a crazy rush for the last one, that's weird. All right. All right, RV Winkle, there you go. <clears throat> What's up, 2 to B? how's it going? Good to see you. Waiting for one of these to go on so long, Arsene's controller falls asleep again. God, I hope not. Good Lord, I hope not. <clears throat> nice, very nice. Shall be done, all right. All right. It does seem like I've been sitting here long enough that I'm gonna have to resync uh, the system too. Because I think we're already, yeah, we're already behind there. I have a hope in hell of a for you one character that the party is Bubsy, Babsy, Boobsy, and Rambo in my heart. To make you gain your shadows. Alright, next character up is Gloria. Bidding for Gloria will start at 10,000. 
<laughs> All right, we begin. Fifteen thousand to Cragger. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Do I hear fifteen thousand five hundred? Do I hear? It's all I have. It's all I have. Sixteen thousand to Big Toes. Eighteen thousand to Cragger. Eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Do I hear twenty thousand? Do I hear twenty? Twenty thousand to Nemrin. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. We got twenty-one. Anyone to twenty-one? Twenty-five thousand to Cragger. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Do I hear twenty-three? Twenty-six thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Where's the auction I ever saw is my brother's friends playing Monopoly. Guy who owned the property lost a foreclosure. Brony blue set there. Oh wow, dude. I want to end at 30,000. 27,000 to Emmerin. 27,000. I have 27,000. Do I hear 28? 30,000 to Cragger. 30,000. Are we ending at 30,000 one more time? 30,000 to Cragger. 33,333 to Nemrin. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Actually, I think that was too many threes. 35,000 to Cragger. 35, 35. Do I hear 40? Are we going to 40? 35, 35, 35. 38,000 to 38,000, 38,000. Do I hear 40? Do I hear 40? 38,000. <laughs> 38,000 going once. 40,000 to Cragger. God damn. 40,000 coins, the current high bid. 43,000 to Nemrin. 43,000, 43,000. Do I hear 45? Do I hear 45? 45, 45, 45, 45, 45. <clears throat> yeah, we, we blasted right past 42,000. 43,000 going once. 43,000 going twice. Sold to Nemrin for 43,000. Congratulations. You have a girl to name. Let me set this up for you right here. 43,000. There you go. Let's have it. What you got? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and resync this real quick. Hopefully it doesn't break anything. Mm. There we go. Sparkle! Sparkle! There we go. And finally, the heroine. Our final character of the evening. evening. Sparkly. <laughs> All right, final character of the evening. Last chance. Uh, uh, it's pronounced Sporkle. All right, Sharon. Sharon is getting a new name and we're gonna start the bidding. At 10,000. 10,000. Do I hear 10,000? 10, 10,000. Rename Sharon. 10,000. 15,500 R Dominic. 15,500. 20,000 to Cragger. 20,000. Do I hear 25? Do I hear 25? 25, 25, 25. 23,333 to Silver Mike. 23, 23. <coughs> Do I hear 25? 25, 25. <laughs> we fused our coins, we came and bid. Heroin Sharon is shady ass name. 23,333. Do I hear 25? 23,000. 27,000 to Cragger. 27,000. 27. Do I hear 30? Are we going as high as 30 for the heroin here? 27. 27,000. 27,000. 28,999. You're just trying to make this hard on me. 28,999 to Silver Mike. Do I hear 30? Are we going as high as 30? 32,000 to Cragger. 32,000 current high bid. 32,000. Do I hear 35,000? 32,000, 32,000, 32,000, 32,000. 
32,000, do I hear 35? 37,173, god damn you silver mic. 37, 40,000, my god, 40,000 to Cragger. 40,000, 42, <laughs> god damn it, low dry. God damn it. You're waiting, lying in wait for that one. 42, 42,069, current high bid, 42,069. 42,096 to Silver Mike. 45,000. 45,000 to Cracker. 45,000. 45. Are we going to 50, folks? Are we going to 50? 45,000. 45,000. 45,000. I went to get dessert and came back just then. Nice. Very nice. All right. 45,000. Going once. 46,000. Seven hate. 789 to Silver Mike. 46,000. 46,000. Do we have 47? 47. Looking for 40, 47. Oh, I would love a mini cream puff right now so bad. 46,789. Current high bid. <clears throat> 46,789. Going once. 46,789, going twice, thank you. Mm. Sold to Silver Mike for 46,789, congratulations. Ox is longer than most of my gaming sessions, <laughs> I know. I wasn't actually expecting it to take this long, but I will say this is pretty fun. 46,789. All right, Silver Mike, what you got for us? No, we didn't We didn't make it to 80,085, unfortunately. I wish it was hilariously rich, you could just roll in. <laughs> that would be great. It was the second highest bid on three or four. Yeah, definitely, Cragger. Is that the way we spent on Final Fantasy IX names? How did you... I... I expected it to go high. I didn't expect it to take, like, a super long time, I think. I think that's the distinction. <clears throat> I think I was honestly... I think I was honestly anticipating, like, quicker jumps. Which is one reason why I, I put that out there. Like, I didn't want... I didn't want somebody to come in and just say, like, 100,000 or something. Because I felt like... Somebody would probably end up doing that if that uh, if I didn't say that. But maybe maybe I was too hard on folks, and that kept the prices down. <clears throat> <coughs> All right, Silver Mike, what's it gonna be? So be it! So be it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was eventful. Alrighty. Now that we're all warmed up for the evening. Decent amount of the free willies didn't make it out for the bidding. That is true as well, I suppose. Alright. I'm plenty. It's it, it's a James Bond reference. All right, we are finally ready to begin the game, and it starts the battle. Oh my god, with diviners and sprites. Uh, all right, so everybody has weapons, talents, and magics, uh, except they don't at the moment. Oh, she has ice. I guess we can give it a try. Is there a way to... Maybe not. Let's try icing somebody. Oh, this guy's got fire, too. Try to show those diviners in a Bugs Bunny cartoon. All right, here we go. Myron used fire one against Sprite. Hey, I didn't name him Myron. Sprite fell. Sprite is defending. Winkle used battle against diviner. Oh, you missed! God damn it. Winkle, what the fuck are you doing? Sparkle used ice. Wow, that's really appropriate. 
That's how you do it. Diviner used kick, kick against Myron, a mighty blow. Jarbzy used long, because of course he did. But it did not kill. All right, we'll just, oh, 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 wait. It actually defaults to their last action. That's interesting. We'll just whip everybody. I know we encountered drunk sprites and furies. Furries, excuse me. Myron, what the fuck are you doing? All right, Winkle dodged. All right, Winkle gets the kill. Sparkle doinked the sprite on the head. And Jarbzy finished him off. Jarbzy used long, but it was not effective. Heroin Plenty is the name of Keith Richards' daughter. One! 14 experience up! Received 560 GP, goddamn. Nice. Guess, okay, this is Myron. Guess that might be the last time we all use the simulator. I'll say goodbye right now. Jarbzy, okay, see you. EXP is a saga game, right? EXP is in the saga games usually. <clears throat> Not usually, but it is in this one. Plenty! Jarbzy! You're really leaving? Yeah, but I'll be back. Aw, Plenty is sad. Jarvzy says, don't worry, you'll see me off tomorrow, right? Plenty's still sad. I've got to go now. Aw, oh, she, gave, she gave him that, that look. I'll miss you. Can text me get tuned, turned up at all? It's like, I control it. We're all ready now, good. Where's Plenty? I guess it's too hard on her to see you off. I'll miss her. Let me tell you about Borgen, the man who sent you back to me. Oh, it's flashback. Dion, Borgen! Where are the kids going? To the past. Past? Quasar's time machine isn't finished yet. I have no choice. Changing the past is the only way to save the world from sinking. You're mad! And then they all died. <clears throat> See the back of Jarvis's head is another face without- I used to think that too, dude! Borgen's plan won't work if the future's already destroyed. Still wish to go? Yes, we three decided that we can't close our eyes to our own future. Well said, then see this, come! Odd earthquake effect? Yeah. Alright. Faye says, don't go! Faye, Dion! Monsters are going to get you outside. It's okay, we're going to make it safe so you can play outside. Be good, we'll see you later. Really? I promise. Ready? Yes, let's go! Not I guess we're going to the temple. His eyes are so long! Myron, Elder, wait! Myron, Plenty, I told you not to leave the city. I know, but we're worried. We all grew up together, and Plenty's... Well, you know how Plenty is. Stop! Elder knows what he's doing. But... I'll guard the city, at least let her go. Hmm, alright, you should both go. You, ro you won't regret this. Thank you, Elder. Now we have plenty of party members. Plenty join, Myron join. Ready? Let's go back there. Into the whirlpool. What the? It's the Talon, a fighter that can travel through time. I told you. Like first five minutes of the game, they give you a fucking time machine. Then we're off to the future? No, it's useless now. Take this to Kronos in Elon. He knows a lot about Talon. Received radar. What's this? Borgen had it. Might be a missing unit. Let Kronos see it. Right. Hey, the ocean's between here and Elon. Find float in North Tower. You can fly then. Monsters lurk there, so be careful. Okay. You can see through the back of Jarvzy's head, it's freaking me out. Okay, so now we have control of the game. 
So this is the Talon. Um, the entire game is kind of built around upgrading Talon so you can do different things with it. The villain of the game, Elon Musk. <laughs> um, no, no engine units, no warp units. We have a cannon. No option units. All right. Can you travel to year 420? I don't think they ever say what year it is. There's there's the past, there's the present, and there's the future. Anyway, I don't think there's anything to do here just yet. Oh, that's so weird. You actually can see through his head. Oh, God, that's really super fucking weird. It's Jeff Bozos. Past, present, future, man, what's the difference? Alright, uh, let's check our menu real quick. Alright, we got Jarbzy, Winkle, Sparkle, and Plenty. And Myron. Myron's tagging along this time. Uh, we have a radar. That's cool. Magic. Jarbzy has no magic. Winkle has no magic. Sparkle knows ice. Plenty knows nothing. Talents. Wait, is talent where... Talon, Talon, okay, no, 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 there's a list of talents, and then these must be your resistances for things. Past is the past, the present is now, the future is where we'll spend the rest of our lives. Status, Jarbzy is a good human. <laughs> Alright, Winkle is a good mutant. Sparkle is a good mutant. Plenty is a good human. Myron is also a good human. Great. Uh, equipment. Jarbzy has a long and a shield and a helm and a leather and gloves and shoes. I actually, actually I'm not sure he actually has anything equipped there. He has a battle. He has a bronze battle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if it has the icon, there's nothing equipped there. So like Myron has a battle weapon and bronze armor and bronze helmet and a plume, I think. No robots yet? Oh. Oh, we're gonna have to talk about that. Okay. So I'm gonna use the middle save file. And let's head for North Tower. Or I guess maybe stop by home. Talk to some folks. See what's up. Elder founded this town, Darm. The town of Elon is to the. Uh, skip past that. To the west. Cool. Here is the inn. Here is the cafe. Beware! Monsters are also after Talon's units! Palace was built to seal in Talon. Neat. Oh my! Monsters are kidnapping us children! <laughs> oh no! I'm being preyed upon! You can jump over people in holes using B. Oh shit! Oh my god, you, I totally forgot you can jump in this game. That's rad. Uh, may I help you? Okay, I can buy more spells. Cure, shell, ice, sleep. Do I want, like... Okay, so... S I wonder if I could give Sparkle, or Winkle a spell. Let's try it. Bye. Cure. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So I guess you equip them? Item? Okay, so Winkle learned Cure. Good. Okay. Is that smart? His magic is 11. Her magic's 14. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Okay. We learned a spell. I figured out how to learn a spell. I guess we're not going this way. Really wish I had uh, found the manual for this before I started tonight. Probably, probably would have streamlined a bit of this. Hi. What you got? Uh, we got some... We got some Cure Potion, Soft, Anadots, Eye Drop, HP, Attack. Uh, I wonder if these are... So in the other Saga games, humans increase their stats by using items. Maybe that's what these are. Streamlining is for cowards. 
Uh, we'll come back here on the way out. I want to see if there's any equipment we can buy. Our poultry funds. The Magic Book of Float is in the North Tower. Fuck out of my way. Ha ha! Ha ha Bronze, battle, long, long... Okay, I think, I think we're good on those. Ha ha! Man, so cool you can jump in this game. Uh, alright. We can buy some leathers. -es. Maybe some hats. Maybe a boot for somebody. <clears throat> you need armor. Here, have a leather. You need an armor. Here you go. Alright, uh, you could use a hat. You could also use a hat. And then... There we go. Have some leather shoes. There we go. Perfect. Great. Wonderful. We are equipped. We are geared. Ready for almost anything. So this is the place that we came out of. Oh yeah, this is like the battle simulator. Battle simulator. Train? Nah, it's okay. It's like every other JRPG ever. This will be 100% straightforward without any arcane bullshit. Yes. Yes, indeed. How did you know? Oh yes, 15 years ago when I was looking for a place to build a town, I met a group collecting units. That means there are others hunting units too, so be careful. It's probably just us in the past. I'll train myself to become a fine warrior like you. See you again, Jarbzy. Is this a slide? Whee! Cross-reference the two guys. Hop, hop, hop. Alright. North Tower, here we come. I assume it's to the north. Okay. Alright, that's definitely a tower. There were no random encounters outside. <laughs> a lake flew by overhead. All right, what do we got? Holy shit! We got worms and quackies. Actually, we should probably ice something. Yeah, quacky. Him named Quacky. Myron used battle and missed, you idiot. Quacky kicked. Quacky used kick. Ow. These kicks hurt! A mighty blow! Worm is strong against ice. I still did a bunch of damage and killed him. Holy Jesus! Okay, Sparkle's dead. What does... What does auto do? Oh, you can set different characters to auto. So you have to... You always have to set the main character's actions, but you can set the other characters to auto. Transparent effect looks surprisingly good for dead party members. I don't know if Osh is prepared to handle the shrug. Holy shit, how How many how much HP did these fucking things have? No, not Winkle. I feel a little out of my depth here. Thanks, Myron. A mighty blow. Are we dying on like the second fight? Yes. Yes, we are. It's 
72 HP? Jesus. <clears throat> I mean, well, that helps. People actually enjoy these games? Yes. I do. I like the first two games. Jarvis, you leveled up. Received. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. Okay, we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be here yet. Hey, everybody else got up. Run away. Okay, that's a lot to take in. All right. Okay, there are random encounters out here. Okay, and these are these are much more reasonable. Okay. Doing JRPG stuff, I'm gonna lurk and play some Rido. Alright. Enjoy, by all means. <laughs> Based on the fact that we have to grind for the second room of the dungeon, I can tell this will be interesting. We'll see how much we need to do. The other two were simply riveting. I know these aren't your kind of game, Bacon Copter, but I enjoyed the first two a lot, and I've been wanting to play this one for a long time. There's a mini walkthrough in the manual. I mean, I think I think Square was doing that with all of their games at the time. Yeah, like, um... The manual for the original Final Fantasy walked you all the way through, uh, to Melmond. All the way through getting the boat, getting the, getting the key. They were really worried people wouldn't get it. I mean, it was a very different kind of game for the time. Holy shit. A apparently kabuki actors are hooligans in this game. <laughs> Fuck Drake, yeah. <laughs> it's a fuck Drake. <laughs> okay. Found F Drake's meat. What do you want to do with it, chat? Meat. Eat. Who's gonna eat it? What could possibly go wrong? Mmm, eat. We found random fuck Drake food, we need to eat it. I'm, I'm gonna give it to Jarbzy. Jarbzy turned into beast bro. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, this guy's pretty badass. He has a lot more health. <clears throat> Wait, turned into what? Beast Broomer. Don't worry, he's good. Okay, Broomer. Wait, fuck drink food and became a, a furt tree. Okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I need, to, I need to go ahead and explain this up front, I think. Um, so, in Final Fantasy Legend 1 and 2. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run around and fight some more stuff while we're doing this. Well, I'm explaining this. In Final Fantasy 1 and 2, you could get monsters in your party. And your monster characters could eat the meat that falls from enemies to turn into other mo uh, to turn into other monsters, right? Well, they decided they could go bigger. 
for Final Fantasy Legend 3. So, in this one, you might have noticed, we don't have any monster characters in our party. That's because anyone can eat meat in this, and they turn into a beast person. If a beast person eats meat again, they turn into a full monster. So there's like two different classes of monster uh, that meat can turn you into, depending on how many meats you have eaten. How do you turn back into a human, you ask? Well, mechanical enemies can also drop parts. They work the same way as meat, but they go in the opposite direction. If you give a human parts, they will turn into a cyborg. If you give cyborg parts, they'll turn into a robot. Yes, you shove the mechanical parts up your butt. Yes, Dominic's got it. There's a, there's, there is a, a spectrum to it. Monster, beast, human mutant, cyborg, robot. And you can move back and forth between them. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, yes. You eat the mechanical parts. You, you devour them to gain their strength. <clears throat> strike first? Hell yes. What part do you shove up your ass again? Any one you want, I suppose. I guess if you were really into it, you could put the meat up your ass, too. I think I missed the intro class. If we're talking about the game in here, we should probably continue this over DS. <laughs> The same goes the other way, if you put the meat in your mouth, the stands the reason the other end will be up <laughs> So yes, so for as much as this looks like a more conventional RPG on the surface, they, ab they actually went absolutely hog wild with the whole transformation system in this. Alright, what level is everybody? Um, level four, two, two, and three. Okay. What happens to spells and such when you change? Can robots cast cure? Yes, I think it just, I think changing, um, you still have all your equipment, you still have all your spells. I think, I think it changes talents? Yes, we, <laughs> Jarbzy can now kick and scream. <laughs> um, and has resistance to paralysis and fire. So yeah. Yeah, we are the witch rabbit now. We ate we ate fuck drake meat and it turned us into a witch rabbit. There's actually a chart and a really unhelpful explanation in the manual. This is maybe the only time in my life I've wished that random encounters were more frequent. Kicking and screaming is standard reaction to everything stuffed up your ass. Holy shit! Alright, it's a screen full of ravens and sprites. I thought LSD Dream Simulator was on PS1. Yeah, ravens go down pretty easy. Baby rabbits actually do scream. That is true, and they sound fucking terrifying. Which has better spreadsheets, Saga or Eve? I will say that spreadsheets for these games, people joke about it, but spreadsheets for these games are entirely unnecessary. You can, you can just like cram meat and parts into whatever hole that you want and you'll be, you'll, you'll be able to get through the game fine. I think you can actually like, I don't even think you need to engage with meat or, meat or parts in this if you don't want to. You can just keep your party the way they are and everything's fine. Eve, cause spreadsheets are fueled by tears. Look up the math for combining monsters and Monster Rancher 2, it's amazingly complex. Jarbzy turned into Beast Mad Boar. Everybody else leveled up. Oh shit, it's Sprite Meat. Let's eat that shit. I'm gonna give that to... You. Sparkle turned into... Okay, she turned into a Broomer now. Holy shit. This is a weird Pokemon game. Alright. So Jarbzy can now stab and breathe, and he's strong against ice. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna brave the tower now. Actually, I guess we can get some more armor too. Hang on a sec. Remaking this also incompletely tracks monster robot transformations. Jarbzy became the physical personification of a cop. Yes, he did. Okay, Jarbzy needs. Okay, what all do they sell actually? Armor, helmets, shoes, and belts. All right, so let's see here. Help me out here, chat. Uh, Jarbzy needs, okay, one helm, one belt. Um, one helm, one shoes, two belts. One helm, one shoes, three belts, I think. A quacky is a cyborg, that makes much more sense. Does it? Does it though? Does it really? All right, belt is like one point of defense. I'll accept that. You already have a belt. You don't get a belt, you already have one. All right, let's try the tower again. So there are DS remakes of Saga 2 and 3. Saga 1 got a remake, but only on Wonder Swan. All right, get the fuck out of my way. I love that you can jump in this game. It makes me so happy. Um, let's see here. Actually, I might be able to improve our weapon situation too. Long, battle, bronze, battle. You know, the 3 remake is pretty much a different game, really. Um... I'm gonna try giving a bow to... Sparkle and see what happens. Are there any restrictions on giving anybody anything? Somebody shoes. Fuck! Winkle was supposed to have shoes and I sold them. I'm never getting those 25 GP back. God, I'm so bad at economics. I honestly prefer the Final Fantasy Adventure method of getting NPCs out of the way by just stabbing them. Wish they'd remake all, all three of these using the Romancing remake engine they made. I haven't played any Saga games past these three, so... That is something I would like to get to someday. Yeah, yet. Hang on. I'm gonna buy an attack pill. And some potions. Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster Engine will work too. I saw some screenshots of uh, the Pixel Remaster of 6, and it seems like they're doing some Octopath Traveler kind of stuff with it. All right, um, your attack is 17, yours is seven, yours is 14, yours is 11. I want Winkle to hit harder. Let's see what this does. That did literally nothing. All right, well, that was some money well spent. They apparently have plans for Romancing Saga 1. All right, let's pop a save here. All right, to the tower. I'm sure this will go much better than last time. Soul Hackers is a dungeon RPG, so it's pretty different. Tried Romancing Saga 1 briefly and could not get into it at all. All right. <clears throat> How's this gonna go? 
turtles and orc orcs. Let's see what happens. Myron is defending. That doesn't seem very smart, Myron. Alright, that's one orc orc down. That's a... Scream at the turtle! Turtle was confused. Orc orc stabbed Winkle. Okay, that didn't do much. Stabbing is Myron. Did literally nothing. Kind of hurt Jarbzy. Turtle is defending. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these people off auto. I think I need to actually tell them what to do. Unfortunately. Um. All right. Let's have you weapon them. Let's have you. I bet he's weak against ice. Um. Let's see how this goes. Battle Axe. Orc Orc fell. <laughs> For when a single orc isn't enough. When one orc just won't do. Plenty hits plenty hard. Alright, good. Weak against Ice. Quit stabbing Jarbzy. Ow! Jesus. Big jerks. Twice the orc, twice the flavor. Scaling for how badass some monsters look versus how early you encounter them seems slightly off. The turtles seem like less like random encounter material and more like first or second boss material. There doesn't really seem to be a theme to the monsters yet. They just, they really just feel like whatever. Soul Hackers is also aggressively 90 Cyberpunk with normal SMT nonsense, so it's great. One! We got a lot of experience stuff. Uh, okay. Here. Okay. Cure potions are not very impressive, but they get the job done. Story checks out whatever is the saga aesthetic. I kind of love it, too. I can't. Oh my god. Like, I genuinely kind of love how nutty these games are. Saga Frontier monsters have a we just learned blender aesthetic. A mighty. Jesus, that was a mighty blow. Same team that made this one to make Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Oh. I wanna. I wanna stream Final Fantasy Mystic Quest sometime. I find that to be a very interesting game. Don't stab my sparkle. Air guys when? I don't know about that. Okay, that worked. You will never stream Final Fantasy Mystic Quest? I think Mystic Quest would be even faster than this. It's pretty short. Yeah, it's definitely not as bad as a lot of people think. Definitely not a definitely not a classic, but it is an interesting game. Sparkle turned into a sea monk. Oh shit. We got turtle meat. Oh god, she's a Cthulhu. Winkle turned into a fighter. Okay, what the hell is going on in here? Huh. Winkle is Spider-Man now? Yeah, apparently. What are your talents? Okay, you can stab.